What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh Izzy and you're watching 90 More. Back again with the news that Manchester United have agreed a deal to sign Dutch star Memphis Depay from PSV Eindhoven. It's a four-year deal with an option for a fifth year and the fee is in the region, well believed to be in the region, of 25 to 30 million pounds. We'll have a medical next week and join the club when the transfer window opens in June. 21 goals this season and obviously a major part in Eindhoven winning the Eredivisie. He's been uh, on Twitter tweeting about it and just generally breaking Liverpool's hearts in the process, saying things like, it's time to set my goals again on winning trophies with Manchester United. So why has he chosen Manchester United and not Liverpool? Is Louis van Gaal a better manager than Brendan Rodgers? Well, quite frankly, yes, but that's not all there is to this. Van Gaal is a sort of father figure to Depay and gave him his breakthrough in the Netherlands side, eventually showing justified faith in him at the World Cup too, so we know that they can work well together. And let's be frank here, on paper, Manchester United have a better squad. Liverpool have somehow managed to blow all the Suarez money. They've absolutely cocked up pretty much. Their chances of Champions League football now have less money to offer for higher wages than Manchester United. Don't have the Dutch teammates already at the club to help ease the transition in a new country, new league. Forgive me for saying this, but it's Alexis Sanchez all over again. And this time, Liverpool have to sell first. They don't have Champions League to offer. And Brendan's big season now looks to have been incredibly reliant on Luis Suarez. He hasn't bought the players to fit his style of play. And there are times when, especially without Sturridge, I really don't even think he knows what his style of play is. Who the f is playing Raheem Sterling at right wing back? Can this guy even keep hold of Sterling? Because Depay and Sterling together could have been, whew. Depay is explosive, skillful, capable of the incredible but where he might not be perhaps as creative as I think Sterling is. He's actually everything that Liverpool fans wish Raheem was as far as goal scoring ability goes. And Raheem doesn't to me look like he wants to leave Liverpool. I reckon he loves the club. Liverpool are a great club. I won't have anyone tell me differently. But until Liverpool have a manager that the players want to play for, that future stars are clamouring to work with, and somehow, someone that has a clear target of progression. Liverpool, one of the world's greatest clubs, one of European history's finest, once the shining beacon of hope for English football, are going backwards. Look at the reality. Chelsea are getting it done. They've got an owner willing to go to any lengths to get class in, and a manager who's willing to do anything to win. Say what you like about him, but Arsene Wenger is a visionary. He's moved the club into a world-class facility in the heart of one of the most expensive cities in the world, and is now adding not deleting, but adding top, top quality. And it's clear that Arsenal are making real promising progression, whilst not sacrificing the brand of football that they want to play. Manchester United have been shocking all season, but they've got a manager who knows how to grind out results, and they're practically back to where they want to be, and already making massive moves for next season. City will be splashing the cash this summer. There's got to be an air of embarrassment about the club, and you should expect major changes. Talk of things like Pogba already. But where does that leave Liverpool? Fighting it out with Tottenham for Europa League. It's not good enough in my book, because I'm a football fan at the end of the day, and Liverpool deserve more. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on both the move on Brendan Rodgers, Louis van Gaal, and whatever more you like. But for now, my name's been Hugh Izzy, and this has been a lot of fun. Peace.